Agus Wade and welcome everybody to Agus Wade back again with me, Michel Junius Wade. In today's video feature, we're gonna be talking about the cucumbers today. I planted some cucumbers directly from seed. I did a first video on growing your cucumbers from seed to seedling, but however, I grew them in a tree and then I transplanted them and they did very well. But I never featured actual harvest or the development of that plant. In order to grow very, very healthy cucumbers and massive cucumbers, you need to ensure that your soil is hydrated a lot. So you, know, you need to ensure that your soil is very good at retaining moisture and wet it on a daily basis. You need to mulch your soil a lot in order for it to avoid rapid evaporation. So make sure that your plant is in a nice sunny area. I will emphasize that you need fertile soil, so you need your soil to have a lot of compost material because they are heavy feeders. I mean, in order for them to get big like this, they need a lot of water and a lot of nutrients. So your soil needs to be very healthy. Ensure that you add compost to your soil. Don't just plant cucumbers in any soil. And another thing I'm using to ensure that my soil is very, very rich in nutrients, I'm using a lot of seaweed. Because I live on the beach side, I use a lot of seaweed. So that's one of the things I'm using. So if you have access to seaweed, don't hesitate. Take some seaweed, put it to soak in with some fresh water, rinse out the salt, and then incorporate it into your soil before. Remember, it's before you plant your seedlings or your seed that you have to ensure that you put the seaweed into the soil and let it decompose and add all your other compost. Just like when I was making this raised bed, you would have observed that I used a lot of organic compost material. I am not concerned much really with the leaf right now because the leaves they will start to die out because it have a lot of cucumbers on it so it's focusing now on making sure that the cucumbers grow a lot and that they grow big enough and healthy enough so that's what the plant is focusing now so remember when your plants are flowering and they start to produce don't give it too much pen manure or high nitrogen fertilizer organic fertilizer that is and weed free make sure your soil do not have weed Make sure that the surrounding of your cucumber plant or, he, or your hill, your cucumber hill, wherever you plant it, do not have weed because it will compete for nutrient, moisture, and all these things. And all these are important things and vital elements that the cucumber plant needs for it to produce healthy crops. Remember that. So remember these things. Make sure your soil is hydrated. Make sure your soil is very fertile. Add compost material of organic fertilizer when it's growing but not when it's producing especially nitrogen don't give it and extra your plant don't have a lot of weed around it actually, actually ensure it have no weed around it when it's growing and producing and of course mulching and sunlight it, these are two things that also is needed for your plant to grow very well as you can see i'm in the hot sun but it's okay because i need to show you what it is that i'm doing and that's the sacrifice i'm enduring being in the hot sun to show this to you that's why you need your plant to be in a nice sunny area if you observe how this one is growing so that part here is inside the fence that part uh, is in the hole of the fence now if i allow that to grow like that it will expand around the fence and I don't want that, so I have to make sure I put it inside or I control it as it's growing up because if not, let me show you what will happen this will happen, I didn't see that one when that happened as you can see, it's growing in the fence and if you watch how it's hanging this is where it's growing out from the plant and just look at it I'm going to break off the sleeve so that you can see As you can see, you'll be wondering how on earth can a cucumber be um, coming from the base here and it's going upwards. It was very small and it hooked in there and it just expand and push the um, base of the plant. It pushed the plant all the way down there because most likely it was somewhere up there. But because it pushing down, it expanding, it can't push against the fence. So it's pushing the plant downwards. Here's another one on the ground. But let me show you the prize one. So this is the prized cucumber. This is the most massive cucumber I've ever grown. It's it, I'm amazed. This one, it's amazing. And I all I grew all this from seed. I didn't transplant them actually. I stick this seed along the raised bed in the ground, and 
they germinate it and look like they are better when you grow them straight from seed than actually growing them in the tree first and transplanting them so it looked like it's better to transplant to plant the seed directly into the ground thank you for subscribing to our youtube channel thank you for liking our facebook page and don't forget to like this video and i do hope that you're encouraged to start backyard garden and not just backyard garden but organical backyard garden and remember a backyard garden in some way will keep the doctors away and Agus Wade is out.